Have you ever created or edited a design in Canva? And next thing you know, it is just starting to look like a hot mess. Things are just not in alignment with each other and you're kind of trying to nudge them around and shuffle them until it looks just right. And God forbid you then decide that you want to add in another photo or another text box and you have to do it all again. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you two of my favorite tools in Canva, where when you combine them together, they're going to help you to be able to have perfect alignment and spacing in just a few seconds. Once I picked up on these, I started being able to make increasingly complex designs in Canva and have them always look just as I intended in seconds. So that's where we're going in this video. But first, my name is Julie and my goal is to equip direct sellers with the tools and the systems to help you run your business with more efficiency and more joy. We're going to talk about two different tools today and one of them is the positioning tools. It's actually a set of multiple tools and the other one is grouping. First, let's talk about position tools, which you will find anytime you click on an element of any sort and go up here to select position on the upper right side of your design screen. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a little checklist right here on my design. So here I have a little check mark element that I got from the element section over here. And I want to have three of them. So I'm going to just hit control C to copy and paste twice, or I can click on the element and just come over here to duplicate two more of them. As you can see, these are all kind of clumped together and I want them to be nice and lined up on the left side and spaced out from each other. Now the old way would be just to manually do this, to kind of use these little guiding pink lines to try to line it up and just kind of hope that I'm spaced out, but we can do better. So let's talk about this positioning tool first, how it applies to a single element. If I just have selected one element here, one checkbox. I can go to position and my options are to align it to the top, middle or bottom of the page or the left, center or right of the page. So that's useful and I use it all the time, but the real magic happens when you use position tools on multiple elements such as these three check marks. So I'm going to take my mouse and drag over all three of them. Now, when I click on position, you'll see that some other things have popped up. So instead of just the align to page option, I actually have align elements. So these options like align left and align to the right, they are not in relation to the page, but in relation to each other. So now if I click on left, instead of just focusing on sending to the left of the page, the elements all match to the leftmost out of all the ones I highlighted like this. Or if I undo that and do align to the right, they will align to the rightmost out of those three that I selected. All that is left now is to space them out from each other. And the position tool has a simple way to do that. First, I want to, um, Make sure that it's not covering up my text here. So I can just click on position again. And this time I want to select to space evenly vertically. So in one click, they are beautifully spaced out. And if I decided, you know what? I don't want the top one to be quite so high. I'm gonna drag it down and I want them to start here. Well, I've messed things up again, haven't I? But all I have to do is select again position them all, maybe centered on each other, space evenly. And now I've readjusted everything and still looks great. So that's a little bit about the alignment tool, but now that we have that down, let's move over and start talking about grouping. To illustrate grouping, we're going to first think about this text box that's actually going to be next to each checkbox. So I've got one text box about my first point for my positioning tools. Let me add a couple more. And as of now, you can see that these are looking a little bit wonky. They're not lined up with each other or with their respective checkbox that each one is supposed to go with. So we have a little work to do. I'm going to repeat what we just learned again and align these text boxes to each other. 
by selecting over all of them, again going to position. Um, I actually want them centered on each other. And I'm gonna just pull the whole thing over to the right a little. I'm just using my right arrow key to get that. Great. And then for each one of these, I want to center it vertically next to its respective check mark. So dragging over the check mark, which is too low for my text box here. Um, I'll position that um, actually middle, these to be in the middle of each other, middle and middle, great. But now we can see that things are a little bit thrown off, but there's no need to just nudge things around for 10 minutes trying to get it to look right. If you've ever found yourself nudging and adjusting things for way too long, just comment yes in the comments below because I am right there with you, that used to be me. We're gonna learn how to make this look just like we want in seconds. As it currently stands though, we cannot use the space evenly functionality because if I drag over all of this, Canva sees these as six separate elements and we'll space them all individually. So what happens if I do that? I get a huge mess. So we're gonna undo that. Canva doesn't know yet that I want each check mark and text box pair to act as a single unit. So I'm gonna take each pairing, that is each check mark and the text box that goes with it, and group them together. So grouping means that Canva will start treating them as if they were a single element. They will move together, they will resize together, they can rotate together, all those things. And so let's see that again. To group together, I just drag over them with my mouse. I can either click on group or I can um, do Control G or Command G on a Mac to group them together. I'm all about my keyboard shortcuts. I'm gonna repeat it down here with my last group, Control G. And now these are all groups where things are aligned. Um, the, the check in relation to the text is aligned, aligned here, aligned here. And grouping will be the key to perfect alignment overall because now the position tools will treat each grouping as one element. So how do these two tools come together? So this is so important because this combo is what will enable you to align not just single elements in relation to each other, but align your groups too. So now that I have three groups, I can use the same positioning tricks that we talked about earlier. Drag over all three groups to select, hit position, I'm going to align left, and space evenly vertically, boom. And now I can drag the whole thing around if I want to and see that it's getting centered on the page. And if I wanted to make an adjustment like realizing, oh, I actually wanna add another box in here. All I would have to do is just um, do some regrouping and realigning again and I would be all set. So I hope you can see that with just a little bit of practice and understanding how Canva thinks, you can apply this power combo of tools to make your design look just like you want in seconds. So comment below, have you ever made a design where some grouping and alignment tools would have made it a lot easier? I would love to hear. If you would love to see more tips like this, then please go ahead and subscribe because I have more coming your way. And if you're a direct seller looking to increase your engagement through design, then just click the link in my description below to grab my free mini course, which is packed with tips, tutorials, and templates for direct sellers that you can put into action right away.